All right, guys, I'm back for another video. It's Greg, this is Big Blue, and welcome to the Blue Garage. So as I said in my last video, just, what, Tuesday, I believe it was, I did my walk around video of my one year review on this truck. So I just stated that I was gonna put on some more Lost Fit parts. As you see here, I have the Lost Fit LED light bar, 32 inch LED light bar already in the grill along with the turn signal bulbs, the rear reverse lights, and the license plate lights. So what we're gonna be installing today is gonna be a little fun, easy to do project. I know a lot of you have been asking me about the upfitter switches and how I wired everything in. So I plan to be very detailed with this video to show you exactly how I get through the firewall, which is the trickiest part in my opinion. All you have to do is use a coat hanger, some tape, tape the wire to the coat hanger, get it through. We'll get there whenever we get there, but I will demonstrate all of this on the video uh, as time comes. So what we're gonna be installing today is Lost Fit's new three inch LED pods. Let me get it where you can see here. So this is gonna be a little fun project going on the hood and uh, i'm looking forward to it so if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button it helps the channel and also if you want to communicate reach out to me you have any questions about any of the projects that i've done or any of the work that i've done to this truck i'm always answering on youtube but best best way to communicate back and forth is on my instagram page i'll post that up here as well so let's get started So what you're gonna need here is a 13 millimeter socket, a, let's see what size this is, I can get it out, maybe this is 14 as well, yep, 14 millimeter socket, socket wrench, your lights, the mounting brackets, which I got off of Amazon. All the links for all these products, again, will be down below. These are some pretty sturdy brackets. There's two of them in here. Pull out one just to show you. Pretty sturdy bracket. Came with all the hardware. As you see, I already pulled those out. We'll get to this part. This is for the step two process. The wiring harness. This is also from Lost Fit. I'm not gonna be using their button, but I'm gonna show you how I bypassed that button and plugged everything or wired everything into my upfitter switches. Some uh, insulation or tubing uh, to connect the wires together. A lighter to shrink wrap this on. A hanger to get through to, or get through the firewall to the upfitter switches wire cutter and then a little last minute thing i ordered the wrong thing in this box i don't want to show you just yet it'll be at the end ordered the wrong item but i'll be exchanging it but you'll get the idea whenever i uh pull that out so let me set you down here tip you right here all right so i'm going to open up the box and just show you what's inside So as you see, we got the three inch light pods here. What they come with are the swivel brackets that they sit in. It's difficult to get out. As you see right here, one for each or light. down in there the lights themselves which are pretty snug in there. there's a nicely wrapped uh, light here you see it's easier if I there we go. the lights themselves now lost fit does like a 
a durability vi video where they freeze these things, slam them off the ground, drop them off buildings whatsoever. All this different crazy stuff and I mean these things are meant to last these are durable so pretty excited uh, to get these things on the vehicle I think they're gonna look awesome but once I get them on there they're gonna sit on the bracket and I'll be able to adjust them as so all right let me get the other one out then they have an accessories box here you move your Move you back just a little bit. I realize I'm cutting my head off. All right, then we have an accessories box here. One for each light. It has the same thing in each bag uh, to mount the bracket to the light. And then the bracket to the hood mounting bracket. And then two pigtails here to connect to the wiring harness that I also bought from Lost Fit. So, to get started, I will turn you down and uh, face you where you can see. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make this, along with all the hardware, the light look like this. It's actually pretty heavy, guys. Pretty dense, pretty solid product here. So, the front of the bracket facing to the front of the vehicle is the side that it's leaning to. As you see, it's slightly rounded. That'll go towards the front of the light. Bottom of the light has the cord towards the bottom. So let me, I already assembled the bolts here. So bolt, we're gonna put a lock nut over top, a washer, Gonna feed it through the bracket. And we're gonna put another washer on there. I'll demonstrate the other side. It'll be easier once one side's in. So again, bolt lock nut, washer, bracket, then another washer. So, I'll set it on its side here. Found it easiest to set the washer down underneath, and then move the bracket over top, and then find the hole. Then you got to find your angle where you want this. It can always be adjusted. I'm going to go fairly straight. Might end up having to angle it down at later, but straight works here for now. All right, good. All right, so the bracket is mounted on where the swivel bracket's mounted onto the light itself. Next, we're gonna mount it onto our hood bracket. So we are given these bolts here. Let's put a, where did my washer go? I just had one. Washer. I'm sorry, I'm saying it backwards. I have the right washer in my hand. That's where it is. So bolt goes in. I don't know if you guys can see but underneath there's two little arms on either side that keep that bolt from turning. Makes it easy to screw in. And we're going to put it through the back of the hood bracket. Put the washer on. And my lock nut, which I have. Somewhere. There it is. Lock nut.
let me show you where they're going to sit on the hood. Grab all my tools here, make sure nothing blows away at the same time. Okay. So coming up to my vehicle, I got my buddy Alex over here with his truck. Don't have a ladder, so we're going to use his tailgate. So the way these are going to sit are right here, just underneath the hood. About right in that location, obviously lower because it's going to be connected to the hood. So let me pop the hood here and show you where we're going to mount them. If you look at the way the bracket is bent or curved, as it slides under the hood, in order to reach those bolts just above it, that curved part has to go on the driver's side for this particular light and obviously opposite for the other side. So let me uh, set up my camera and I'll get it to a position where you can see and I'll start working. All right guys, so what I noticed is there's two uh, bolts that we're gonna be using, one here, and then there's a second hole right here. I know it's kind of dark on the screen. Um, that's where the bracket holes will match up. So in order to get this mounted on this bracket properly, because it doesn't mount onto the hood, it mounts onto the, the hood, um, let's call this the hood bracket, I don't know, <laughs> lack of better words. Um, so whenever I disconnect the hood from the hood bracket or the lift, what I'm going to do is then gain a little leeway, a little space in between the bracket itself and the underside of the hood in order to bolt that first bolt through the um, bracket itself that runs further into the hood, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna do the lower one, which is now already connected to the hood the way it comes stock. All right, so I unscrewed this bolt and I realized that the long bolt here needs to go at the top side of this bracket for the hood and come out of this hole. And that's where this bracket for the three inch pods come into play. So what I need to do is I also need to disconnect this top bolt, just separate this. My buddy's gonna hold the engine, or the, the engine. He's probably not that strong. The hood as I'm messing around in the engine bay uh, to uh, get this bolt into place. Now that you see that bolt is right here, it's just like loosely hanging in there, but it's too big to fit all the way through. Now I'm gonna mount the bracket here. Now I'm gonna put the first bolt on. Next, what we're gonna be doing is working with our wiring harness and our pigtails. So the pigtails will plug in directly into the back of the pods themselves here. I think the lighting's better this way. That green end plugs into the back of the pods and then you have the pigtail at the end where you're going to wire it into the wiring harness. And then again, wiring harness connects both of the pods. And then what I'll do from there is come through the firewall into the upfitter switches. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate on one side of the vehicle, that would be the driver's side. This side, there's so much sunlight, so. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my wiring harness from Lost Fit. Comes with the button here, but we're gonna bypass this button. All I'm gonna do is take one of the ends 
that you see here. Follow that all the way to the base. And I'm gonna cut both of these wires. And those are going to be what I connect my pigtails to on either side. And I am going to use the rubber fitting to house it, slide it on, twist them together. This is what a lot of you guys were asking me about. Slide it on, twist it together, heat it up so it just holds it together permanently and we'll be good. So let me do the passenger side and I will demonstrate on the driver's side where the camera will give a better view. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the pigtail that is provided by Lost Fit in the three inch pod packaging. And I just dropped it. And I'm gonna connect it to the pod wiring here. Pretty simple. It's shaped uh, with the clip on one side and the clip is clearly, you zoom in over here, right on top here. Just gotta push them together till it clips. You don't hear anything. You could actually feel the little clip. So then what I'm gonna do is take my wire cutters right here. Looks like, uh, I guess it would be two, 14, let's see. Let's check. You can check to see where the wire fits and you just cut it, rotate it in there. That's a little big, there we go. And it pulls the covering right off. You want a little bit of a pigtail. You zoom in right there, a little bit of a pigtail on the red side. I haven't done the black one yet. On the black one. Same thing. Oops, went a little big. I need to. There we go. All right. Now both wires are exposed. Now I'm going to do the same thing to my wiring harness, which I set down here. Just like that, all right? So then I'm gonna come up, I'm just gonna twist these, makes it easier to do the next step, which I'll explain. And we're gonna grab the pigtail. Actually, pause for a second. All right, I'm back. What I needed and I didn't have near me were these rubber fittings. All you do, as you see, they're just a big circle cylinder here. You slide it over the each wire. I'll just start with the black first. Black to black. What you do is you hook them around each other. Just like that. Then you're going to slide it up and over. If I can find my lighter, left pocket, then you're going to use the lighter. You're going to bend everything else out of the way so it doesn't get messed up. And it shrink wraps onto it. Just like that. Then I'm gonna do the same exact steps here. Grabbing the fitting again. We'll go over the red wire. Oops, try and keep the wire straight. Connect the two red wires. Same way we did the black wires. Just like that, slide the fitting up. Now this time I don't care if they touch because the fitting's protecting them, they're not gonna cross. And I will be able to get it on there.
And it looks like we are good. That's as simple as it is, guys. I know a lot of you are asking what I did. It's still hot, I should have thought what I did to connect them. Uh, I have electrical tape as well, which I'm going to um, cover these with and uh, gonna ground the one ground wire and then run the hot wire down to my uh, upfitter switches. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this bolt out, which I've loosened up. This is where I grounded my upfitter switches right here on this bolt next to the intake. So you can see right there. Now I made the mistake and I got the threads or the adapter here that is a size too small. So what I had to do is just thread this on. So it'll work. I just have to run the cable through now, the black cable, of course. Um, so we're gonna go do that now. And the way we are gonna go about that is pretty simple. We already wired them together. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through, make sure that's enough slack, it is. Okay, I'm gonna cut the black and black only cable right here. And then I'm going to thread it or pull the protective layering off. I need another grommet, which I think I have one. Yep, I have one in my pocket already. I'll twist that cable. Slide the rubber fitting over top. And then the cable itself is going to go through there and loop around. Just like that, you can zoom in right there. I think it's focused, let me see, there we go. And then you're just gonna slide the fitting over top as far as you can to the neck and heat it up. This isn't working. I gotta close this up. There we go. I should have a bigger flame now. There we go. There we go. Alright. So now that that's done, I can put this bolt back in. Obviously got to make sure that now I ground both my upfitter switch, or sorry, my lost fit LED light bar. I said upfitter switches earlier. Uh, now with the pods, so. Kind of hard to get in with this adapter on my socket. Okay, so now what I have is I have the red wire. We, we can ignore the black. Uh, the red wire that is going down through the firewall. But first we need to get the red wire from the driver's side pod and the red wire from the passenger side pod all connected into one. And then what we need to do is get the two um, black grounding wires, one from each pod, driver's side and passenger side, down to this uh, or down to this grounding wire right here. So what I need is a couple fittings uh, that I will be using. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to connect the grounding wire, which I needed to extend, it's too short, uh, to 
the grounding wire pigtail that I created right here connecting the driver's side pod on this side and the passenger side pod. And we'll do one grommet at a time. Heating those up. like that now we are good so I can tuck these wires off to the side which I'll do momentarily and what I will recommend is zip tying them say probably to this hose right here or back to yeah that hose is probably the best spot so let me get my socket wrench I'll tighten down the bolt for the grounding all right all the grounds are good now we have this red wire which we are going to run all the way through the firewall little cheat I use is a coat hanger and I will show you how that's done. I just recommend cutting them. That way you have one straight edge which you can push through your firewall. Firewall grommet is very tight so it can be difficult. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I closed my eyes ahead of time. All right so now that I have my straight rod here all I am going to do using duct tape like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this through the rubber grommet which I will show you here you know I actually have my buddy Alex inside the vehicle in it he'll be able to see where I'm pointing to or pushing the wire through so down there you can see where the rubber grommet is right on the left side there's this tube going through there's my upfitter switches the other cable is my LED light bar. Now we have to squeeze one more through and already tight fitting. So wish me luck. All right, so we're through the firewall. There's the long cord, a lot of access to play with. Pretty simple once we pulled the cable through, which it came all the way from up there. Let me see if I can turn on a flash here for you. If I can get it, but all the way up through here with the coat hanger, just pulled it all the way through, fed it all the way through. Then I'm tucking it all through and up and over all these excess pieces, just so it's out of the way. As you see, the other red cord that is up there is for my LED bar. Now, this gray cable right here is for my auxiliary to switch to my upfitter switch is from 404parts.com 
and I will attach all the links to that video, my LED bar video, and the walk around video that I mentioned earlier in this video. So what I'm gonna be doing now is just wiring these two cables together. It's pretty straightforward, guys. No different than any of the other wires that we've wired together up to this point. Once this is done, be ready to play with these lights. It's a little light out right now, which good to work in, but not good to test your lighting. Battery is still disconnected. I had to run out to a different parking lot, which is where I'm at now after running the uh, cable through the firewall because I ran out of these little grommets here, little fittings to keep everything, uh, actually, which I almost forgot to use this time. I slide it over the wire, ran out of them because I was burning through them before. So that was my bad. me a little bit more to play with on the brass side or on the gray side so again just you you and twist slide the grommet over so as you see they're twisted together slide the grommet or the fitting over and pull the other ones out of the way here. There we go. She's all done. A little hot, but I'll wait for that to cool down. That fitting is nice and tight on there. Not going to get loose. None of the wires are going to slip away. I'm going to tuck that up in there once I'm done. And I'll connect the battery real quick. The sun is extremely bright right now. Connect the battery real quick. Make sure they work. And then I'll show you guys uh, later on tonight what they look like and how much light I actually get on some of the trails out here. Um, I'll show you with just the headlights, headlights and fog lights, and then also high beams, the mirror lights. I have all sorts of lighting now. LED bar and, excuse me, and the new three inch pod. So lights on lights on lights on lights and lights. It, it's gonna look good. I can't wait. Um, so let's fast forward to that for you guys and enjoy. Because I did not expect these lights to be this bright. I will show you what they look like in daytime real quick and then flash back to dusk, probably about 10, 15 minutes from sunset here and show you what it's going to look like. And I, I'm, I'm already ready to be blown away because in the daytime they already looked phenomenal. Let me show you what look, they look like in dusk as well. So daytime first. Couldn't help myself. I had to test it in the daytime. Oh man, those are bright. Wow. Looks phenomenal with that LED bar. Got the fog lights on, the daytime running lights on, headlights aren't on yet. phenomenal just wait for these night shots all right now that you saw them in daytime here they are in dusk I'm gonna do just the pod lighting on their own first so auxiliary setting number two on my upfitter switches getting full filling them up now guys finally look at that man those are bright I'll get out of the way because I know you want to see the truck and those lights. Not me, but wow. 
I'm about, you know, 15, 20 feet out in front of the truck. Look at that light on me. It is bright. Looks good. I am beyond happy. Pretty easy install if I didn't keep cutting wires too short. You'll see that in the video, or you have seen that already in this video. Um, but other than that, it's super easy to install. Um, highly recommend throwing them on your truck, especially if you do a lot of off-roading. I myself haven't done much at all yet. This is as off-road as it gets right now. But moving to Texas soon, hopefully I'll be able to make some friends and uh, find some places to go off-roading. So that is step one. Let's throw on all the other lights. We'll put on the light bar, let's put on the fog lights, and then let's also put on the headlights. All right, I'm gonna, wow, I'm gonna walk out. Look at the light on the ground, guys. Just all the way out here, probably about 25, 30 feet out. And the truck is just all lit up, man. I don't know if this camera does it justice, but she looks good, guys. All the lights, as you see, headlights, daytime running lights, LED bar, pods, fog lights, mirror lights, just lights, 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 lights. It looks good. I'm happy. Oh, man. If you guys want anything from Lost Fit, make sure you use my discount code below. Save yourself some money and get these because I tell you what, for the price that you pay for these things, man, they are phenomenal, phenomenal quality. They are durable and just solid material. I I couldn't imagine it turning out any better than what it did. So I'm beyond happy. Make sure you get yours, guys. Wow. And send me some pictures on Instagram of your truck with these once you get them installed as well because uh, I'm gonna see if you have any other different setups. So I do have one other thing to show you before we wait for sunset. Now I purchased the wrong part. Let's see, I think it's in my center console here. I did purchase the wrong part, or actually it's in my door. So Lost Fit also offers lenses that you can change where they're called filters. Man, I'm like blind, I'm seeing dots. But I accidentally bought the clear ones. They have a blue film protectant on it right now, but you can exchange these out. Right now I have the clear lenses as you guys saw uh, right now on the pods, but I meant to buy the yellow um, filters, but accidentally bought the clear, so that's my bad. I need to send these back. I'll exchange them out and get the yellow as well. And, you know, get a little bit of an amber glow. Just see how, how it turns out. These are the white floods, by the way, the white flood lighting. So um, we'll see how it looks here in a little bit as I just burn up all this gas and have to spend, what, $120 on a tank. But, man, ooh -wee. I love it. I'm happy. It'll, oh man, it, it's just lighting up the whole road right now, or the whole trail. All right, guys, it's not completely dark yet, but I think this is the perfect lighting to really just show you how incredible these lights all are together. Uh, more specifically, the new pods that I just threw on. So uh, I failed to mention these are the high performance or the HP three inch pods that Lost Fit offers. They also offer a sport uh, pod as well. The sport pods are 18 watts and the uh, HP are double that at 36 watts. So twice the output, they're phenomenal. Like I said, they're great. So let me shut off the light in here and show you what it looks like out there. So as you see, it's getting dark now. I'm going to flood this out with the new floods that I got from Lost Fit. Boom. Look at that difference. 
unreal. And then here is their LED light bar. Hitting the ground, right? With the floods. And let's do it with some other lighting. Let me dim all the other lights here in the truck. That's as dim as they go. Fog lights are on, headlights are on, mirror lights are on. Brights, you see the brights don't really, I mean they do add to everything, but man, this is just amazing. Truck's gonna beep at me, maybe not. Wow, they turned out phenomenal. I am beyond happy with this outcome and the, the way it all turned out, guys. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Helps out the channel. I'm trying to grow, trying to get this page growing. Uh, I am moving into a garage finally, so the blue garage will actually have a garage here in a few weeks down in San Antonio, Texas. Looking forward to flipping that garage, making a little uh, dream garage of my own that I can play with some toys in. And uh, yeah, all those lights, they look phenomenal. I mean, look at the glow just off of me. And I'm, you know, 50 feet away from Big Blue. I'm gonna give you a quick little of the lights but as I walk over just make sure you guys check them out they have a phenomenal product uh, and many phenomenal products and uh, you will not be disappointed so as you see all the lights on there and it looks like a Christmas tree fog lights LED bar headlights daytime running lights new pods and the mirrors so Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Looks like it's daylight if you look at me <laughs> with the light from the truck. So it's phenomenal. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.